Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to solve two-step word problems. So our learning goal says I can solve two-step word problems involving multiplying with multiples of 10. So friends, all that means is remember we're going to be breaking apart instead of saying like 40, we would say it as four tens. So we're going to be able to multiply much easier with those groups of 10 when we break it apart that way. Okay, so the materials that you'll need for this lesson are just your dry erase board or something to write on with a piece of paper. So just make sure that you grab that before we get started. All right, friends, here's our first problem. Each day, Andrea does 25 squats to warm up for gymnastics practice and 15 squats to cool down after practice. How many squats does she do in all when she practices Monday through Friday? So, friends, this is our two-step problem. Let me give you a little bit of help before you guys go start working on this on your own, okay? So do we know how many squats she does in one day? Yeah, we do, right? It tells us that she does 25 to warm up and 15 to cool down. That's step one. We need to find out how many is the total for one day. And then how many squats does she do in all when she practices Monday through Friday? So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's five days. So if we find out how many she does in one day, we can figure out how many she does in five days. That's step two. Okay, so you guys are gonna pause the video, solve this problem. If you need to draw a tape diagram, draw it out. That'll help you, okay? Use the RDW process, reread it on your own again, draw and label a picture and equations, and then write a number sentence and a statement to show your answer. Okay, so do all of that and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so again, step one, we have to find out how many she does in one day. Well, she told us that it's 25 in the morning to warm up or and then 15 to cool down. So 25 plus 15 is what, friends? That's 40. Okay, so now I can jump in here and I can say that the next part of my problem says how many squats does she do in all when she practices Monday through Friday? So I'm going to draw a tape diagram to help me. Okay, well, I know in one day she does 40. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So there's my tape diagram. If I find out the total for all of that, that's going to tell me how many squats that she did. Okay, I'm just going to use S for squats. So really, I can use multiplication to help me. Well, there's five groups, so five times 40 equals those squats. And again, you might think, uh, Mrs. Walker, that's a big number, 40. How do I do that? Well, remember, friends, 40 is the same as four tens. So I could just say five times four tens equals S, okay? So now I can kind of almost cover up to myself that tens and just say, what's five times four? Yeah, it's 20, right? But then when I put the tens back in, it's 20 tens. Okay, well, I know that 10 tens equal 100, so 20 tens equals 200. So now I'm going to replace my unknown of S with 200 squats. So to write it as a statement, I would say Andrea does 200 squats during her practices Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's take a look at another one. Benny gets $5 a week for allowance. After saving his money for 20 weeks, how much more does Benny need to buy a bike that costs $108? So remember, we're talking about two-step problems here, friends, before you get started. So we need to find out how much money did he save, and then we need to find out how much money he needs to still be able to get his bike that costs $108. So those are your two steps. I want you to use the RDW process, solve. Okay, so you're going to pause, do all of that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, here we go. So we know that he need, he got $5 a week for 20 weeks. So I can do the first step, which is 5 times 20. If that's too much, remember, you can say 5 times 2 tens, okay, which would be 5 times 2 is 10 tens. Well, I know that 10 tens equals 100, okay, so that's my first part of my problem. Well, I need to know how much more money does he need to buy that bike that costs $108. He's earned $100, so now I'm going to subtract those to find the difference. So $108 minus $100 equals $8. So 
So Benny only needs eight more dollars to buy the bike. He's so close. That's so awesome. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that one too. If not, just rewind and rewatch how I solved this problem. Okay. All right, let's take a look at another one. So Genevieve makes 43 bracelets. She gives 13 bracelets away as gifts and sells the rest for $4 each. How much money does Genevieve make in all? Okay, so again, you're doing two steps for this, right? She made some and then she sold some. And then she wants to find out how much money she makes with the rest of the bracelets. So those are your two steps. Okay, go ahead and pause the video, use the RDW process to solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so again, remember she made 43 bracelets, but she gives away 13 of them. So step one is I have to find out how many she has left. So I'm gonna subtract 43 minus 13 equals 30. So she has 30 bracelets left. Well, she sells the rest for $4 each. So now I need to find out how much money she's gonna make in all. Okay, so I have $4 times 30, because that's how many she has, equals B for bracelets. So I'm going to do 40 times 3 tens, okay? So then that is 12 tens, right? Because 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have our tens because they were tens we were multiplying by. So that's 12 tens. Well, I know that 10 tens equal 100. And then 2 tens left over 10, 20. Oh, so it's 120. So Genevieve makes $120 selling bracelets. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that one too. All right, so all oh, yeah, you guys did an awesome job solving two-step word problems. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.